Hey guys, what's up? So I hope you are preparing for your interviews well, because uh, just learning all these things uh, does not help. You have to make your good resume and apply for the interviews, right? Then only you can get the job. So that's what uh, you have to keep working on that one. Meanwhile, uh, today we are focusing on the NAT part, right? So we today. Uh, decided to take a session on lab session on that so we know it that the uh, static nat dynamic nat and the pack so these are basically the part of our source nat that our uh, we can say source ip address is being translated so when we are translating our source ip address it can be translated in uh, three ways the first one is like static nat another one is dynamic nat and the third one is our nat overload and sometimes uh, people also call it as that So just to remind you what you have uh, in your mind or you already know it. So the first uh, static NAT is like uh, IP to IP hard code mapping, right? We can say the static mapping. That's why we call it as a static NAT. So we you just uh, map it like uh, 10.1.1 to 200.200.2 or 20.20.20.1 so we just uh, map it manually and they are fixed mapping we can say second one is like our dynamic so in case of our dynamic nav we are having uh, floating type of things like 10.1.1 uh, sometimes it can be like uh, mapped with 20. 20.20.1 but if 20.20.1 is not available somebody else has taken that so it might be mapped 20.20.2 if that is available in the pool so that's how it works while in the nat overload we take the help of port number uh, we are having the free port number available in fact port numbers available and uh, with that help of that one uh, we just take the help of that so just uh, uh, switch to our lab uh, whatever it is right so this is our Palo Alto firewall and let me just uh, show you the topology here so this is basically the topology I have as usual the zones like this can be our internal network right this might be our internal so in case of our, of our internal network like this is switch so there can be like uh, multiple uh, machines here i hope it is visible let me change my color so there can be like uh, multiple computers connected right so that's how it is and if they are like more number of switches so we can have in the stack uh, one switch and then we can have more computers so that's how the internal network it is so rather than just going uh, taking many computers i have just taken one computer which is having the ip address of 192.168.1.10 and our goal is to make this user go to internet so if you remember the normal uh, scenario of going to the internet we use three things the first thing uh, we need in the firewall that is our security policy right the third second thing is our nat that's what we need because this is an private ip address and in order to go to the internet it has to be globally routable ip address right so this is a private ip address and it cannot travel outside our or we can say outside of our internal network or the inside our global network like isp do not allow it to go through it so we have to do nat so that nat part we are going to 
do it in the palo alto firewall so the third thing is our basically the routing static route route we do it so that i have already told you so this is done this was uh, covered already this is covered already and today we are going to focus on that so if i take uh, the firewall here right so our job is to configure net i have already configured security policy to allow this source ip address 192.168.1.10 let me show you here i have a policy here if i go to the policy and security here security policy so i have an internet rule that is saying that all the ip addresses 192.168.1.0 to 1.254 and if they are going to the any destination inside the untrust zone then they are allowed to go to the internet right the action is allowed but uh, whenever it is hitting to the security policy we also need a NAT. so for the NAT point of view uh, we are having a different tab here if you see it here there is a NAT app, and now it's our job to configure NAT so if you remember the previous session i skipped this part but uh, today i will focusing on this part so how to configure net you just click on add here right you if you click on add you can give any name here let us suppose snet uh, because i'm doing the source uh, net so uh, that's why i'm giving the source net you can give the description whatever the information you want to give tags if you want to group it based on the tags and or something right and uh, net type i am going to do it ipv4 there are three options available the first one is ipv4 nat64 and nptv6 so nat64 is basically like uh, 6 to 4 and all or, or ipv6 netting so that's what we can do but right now i'm not going to do uh, all those uh, i'm going to do only ipv4 net all right so the first thing is our uh, original package so original packet means that from where it the original packet is coming so it is coming from source zone source zone is our trust means that our packet is coming from the trust zone so that is basically based on the topology what we are having right so i have created the zones and all so the packet will be coming from trust zone and if it is going to the destination zone which means that which packet i want to translate if it is going to which zone so i am going i am my my focus is to translate the packet which is going to the untrust zone so that's why i selected untrust now all the packets going from trust to untrust i am going to translate oh, uh, it can be but uh, my focus is not all the packets but the packets which are originated from the trust but their source address should be on the network 192.168.1.0 so i have to create the objects for that one so that i have not created so let me cancel it out and uh, let me show you that how to create the objects though we can create from directly over there but you can create from here as well from the top you can click on the objects tab you are having here addresses you click on add here right so now i can give the name as 192.168.1.0 zero this is our network name what why i am giving this name so that it just with the name i can easily remember that this is the network or if i give something else name if you want to give like internal network then you can give that because all your uh, internal network starting with 192.168.1.0 so that's what you can also do, mention but th with this network it does not work this is just a name right so what are we going to do we are having multiple options the first one is our ip net mask we can give an ip net mask and uh, how it can be given enter an ip address and network using the slash notation so this is an example that how we do it ip range we can give we can give ip wildcard mask or fqdn that is fully qualified domain name so i'm going to give ip net mask and uh, this is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 all right just hit ok here and one object is created now we will go to the policies and nat once again as usual i will give the name as snet 
original packet i am going to give it as starting from trust destination going to the untrust and source address i am going to give it as now you see that i have a drop down option 192 1.0 .1 so i select it and if it is going to the any destination i want to translate it right because our focus is to uh, do natting for the internet and for the internet destination can be anywhere so another part is our translated packet because this is the information about the original packet now if the packet will be translated what will be the information right and means that how we want to translate it either we want to do it a static net dynamic net or, or whatever we want to do it right so for that purpose we are having an option here translation type so in the translation type currently it is selected as none but i will select as free option so now i will just uh, want to focus a bit right okay I just hold on let me select it a drop down first fine and now i will take my pen so the first option is our dynamic ip let me take it from here so this is uh, from the name it is clear that is our static nat means that if you want to select the static ip it will be doing our static nat dynamic ip means that it will be doing as a dynamic net that's what we discussed at the start of our session a static net and the third option that is dynamic ip and port that is basically our pad or we can say the uh, net overload so in this case only it will be using the different port numbers to go to the internet so uh, you uh, know it right that how are we going to use it which option i should select any of you yes you guess it right i am going to use the first option dynamic ip and port because that's what it, the pad is and that's how the internet works using the different port numbers if i select the dynamic ip and port there are multiple options here not multiple only two options will be there and just in the drop down translated address and interface address what does this mean that if i select the translated address it means that you have to give an ip address here right it is selected so you can give an ip address here that i want to translate my original packet this 192.168.1.0 to this ip address let me give it 192.168.20.20.1 uh, let's suppose 20.20.20.1 20 20 20 so it means that i want to translate it to this ip address you can just select it like that and just hit ok it will be the original packet will be translated on this ip address but i don't want to do that i will be using interface address what does this interface address means interface address is this interface ethernet 1 slash 2 ip address it means that whatever the ip address this ethernet 1 slash 2 will be having that will be taken or the this ip address 192.168.1.10 will be translated to the ip address of ethernet 1 slash 2 and then it will go to the internet so that's what i want to for the ease of convenience i'm just going to do it if you have a production environment you can have like uh, 20 ip address 20 public ip address you can give them here on the pool and those will be used so i'm just using interface at uh, ip at interface address and which interface i want to use ethernet 1 slash 2 because that is going to the internet <laughs> sorry that's it hit ok and commit it <laughs> sorry guys i have i don't have a good else oh i just forgot to tell you but uh, that's how it works actually so now it will be going to the internet earlier it might not be but it will be 
reaching to the internet now and you can just view it in the monitor tab go to the monitor here just uh, hit refresh and now it will be hitting to our internet role right so if you i expand it you can just see that which of the rule it is hitting right let me refresh it again this is something else let me ping once again so that's how it is we can check it that from which zone to which zone it is traveling and which of the rule it is hitting right so that's how we can just uh, check it so if you check it here it is uh, hitting the nat rule as that you see nat rule as nat so the original ip address will be 192.168.1.10 and now it will be translated to 192.168.137.136 so that's how it is so there are two flows now original packet it was one this one that it is going to this but now from uh, okay flow 2 is like a reverse uh, i'm just saying wrong uh, flow 2 is like a reverse Maybe the packet is starting from 8.8 .8 and coming to this 136 so 136 uh, ip addresses of uh, this interface this one slash 2 and this is the ip address here that is 192.168.137.136. I think uh, this was it. Let me just uh, 136. Yeah, that's fine. So that's what the IP it was. So that's why it is uh, replying to from here to. So that's what the NAT was it about. But there are some more things in the NAT, like what is the u-turn nat the first thing and uh, another thing i will be covering as a destination nat so destination nat is normally used at the server end so these two things i will be covering up in the next session and the most important part is our u-turn nat that is uh, always asked in the interviews that what is the u-turn nat and why do we use it so that's i'm going to cover in the next session till that bye bye see you soon in the next session